Welcome to Defense News Plus. It is reported that DRDO is planning to develop next generation main battle tank after Indian military ordered 118 Arjun Mark 1A main battle tank. Arjun Mark 1A main battle tank has been modified with 72 new features of which 14 major changes has been made. Parliamentary Defense Committee suggested for the funds allocation to DRDO to develop 50 ton category medium weight next generation main battle tank. This tank will be powered with 1500 horsepower Bharat power pack domestically developed engine. This next generation tank will be equipped with 120 mm smoothbore gun Indian Army top brass had earlier preferred for the Russian main battle tank T-14 Armata and that is why a program of indigenously developed next generation main battle tank got delayed which was earlier named as future main battle tank or FMBT finalized in 2010 and severely hampered this project. The Arjun MK1A will fulfill the place of Arjun MK2 so army is considering to invest on next generation main battle tank that will replace almost 1700 T-72 tanks in future. In next update, security forces have busted a terrorist hideout near the line of control in Jammu and Kashmir's Poonch district on Saturday and seized some arms and ammunition. Police say that this is the third time police recovered in a fortnight. Senior Superintendent of Police Vinod Kumar Sai told that an AK-56 assault rifle, a magazine with 30 rounds and two Chinese pistols and a magazine were kept here hidden in that place. This was discovered during a joint search operation by the police and the army in Kasba village of the district. An FIR has been lodged and an investigation is on. Some days ago, 19 hand grenades were seized from another hideout in Fagla area of Surankot on 9th May and on 18th May, two pistols and 11 rounds of ammunition were busted from another hideout of Mahra village of Surankot. In another update, Madhya Pradesh police arrested two women and a man on Friday due to allegedly passing confidential military information to the Pakistani agencies. The army police officers and other agencies are interrogating them on suspicion of passing important army information to Pakistan. Indore Inspector General of Police said two women and one man who are local residents of Mo are being interrogated. Information and social media account details are being retrieved. We can say anything only after the entire facts come to light. The military headquarter is situated in Mo and the army training center is also established there. So many army activities are conducted on regular basis. Mobiles and other electronic devices were seized from from the three people for investigation. The officers are suspecting they were passing confidential data to Pakistan through a social media account. In another update, the Defense Research and Development Organization plans to conduct more trial launches of vertical launch short-range surface-to-air missile systems at the end of this year. VLSRSAM was tested for minimum and maximum range from a vertical launcher from the Integrated Test Range or ITR Chandipur and the missiles aimed at the simulated targets with pinpoint accuracy. In the next test, the British drone Banshee will be used as a sea skimming missile attached with warheads. The DRDO has developed VLSRSAM for intercepting aerial threats including sea skimming target within the range of 40 km. VLSRSAM will be the force multiplier for the Navy after full-fledged deployment replacing the aging Barak 1 air defense system. A truck-based mobile canister VLSRSAM system is proposed to the Indian Air Force to protect its air bases and infrastructure against any incoming enemy aerial threats. In another update, 
Avinav Choudhury's father appealed to Indian government that I lost everything I had. The government should discontinue the obsolete aircraft. And again he said, I have lost my son. I don't want others to lose theirs. I request the government with folded hands to discontinue them. After the last rites were completed, of IF squadron leader died in a MiG-21 crash on Thursday. On Saturday morning, Avinav Choudhury's father, Satyendra Choudhury, mother Satya Choudhury, wife Sonika Vujwal, and sister Mudrika received his body wrapped in the tricolor, were taken from the Hindan Air Base in Ghaziabad to his residence in Meerut by the IAF officials. Since 1971 to till date, over 400 MiG-21 accidents killed more than 200 pilots and 50 civilians on the ground. The aircraft was dubbed as Flying Coffin due to loss of our brave hearts. In another update, China is making villages along the line of actual control from Xinjiang to Bhutan to increase the pressure on India. In a new policy paper on Tibetan Autonomous Region released by the Chinese State Council Information Office on Friday, many border villages are now well connected to highways and ample access to mobile connectivity. Indian security agencies too are strictly keeping an eye and collecting information on the building of border infrastructure along the LAC from Xinjiang to Arunachal Pradesh. Residents are moved into the villages mostly located in disputed regions. From other areas, some are at a short distance from strategic point on the Indian side of the LAC. The sources said that we have received inputs on such villages coming up on the western side sector of the LSE in Xinjiang and the eastern sector in Arunachal Pradesh. The oaring aspect is the new pressure on Bhutan in the eastern sector of its border with China which appears to be aimed at making Bhutan give up territory in the Doklam region. The pressure on Bhutan is being increased with an eye on the planned 25th round of boundary talks with China. That's it for today. If you like our work then please hit the like button, share this video and do subscribe this channel to get the notification of the next video. Thank you.